Now I'm going to sketch y equal to sine x plus 2 and y equal to sine x minus 1. For y equal to sine x plus 2, you need to move up by 2 units. And for y equal to sine x minus 1, you need to move down by 1 unit. We start by plotting y equal to sine x graph. We have an x-axis here and the vertical axis that is a y-axis. We need to draw from 0 to 360 degrees. So this is our 360 degree. And I have a 0 degree here. Cut into half. That is 180 degree. Cut into half again. I have 90 degree and 270 degree. The range for sine x graph is 1, the smallest value is negative 1. Remember sine x they start from 0 here, 90 degrees sine x equal to 1, 180 degrees 0, 270 degrees is negative 1, and 360 degrees is 0 again. So this is a graph of y equal to sine x. It's very important to recognize the general pattern of y equal to sine x in order to do all the transformation here. And note that I'm using dotted line here to sketch y equal to sine x because the actual graph that we are going to sketch is y equal to sine x plus 2 and y equal to sine x minus 1. Now we're going to sketch y equal to sine x plus 2. Basically, you're going to shift the whole graph of sine x 2 unit upwards. So your range here, you need a plus 2, the maximum will go to 3. So first, you're going to shift this point here upwards, you have 2 here. The next point you shift upward by 2, you have 3. 0 plus 2, you have 2. 91 shift 2 unit up, so you have 1. And 0 again, you shift up 2 unit, you have 2 again. Now we have the graph y equal to sine x plus 2. Basically, every single point here is shift up by 2 units. Next, I'm going to sketch y equal to sine x minus 1. Every point here is going to shift down by 1 unit. The smallest range I need is negative 2. Let's start with the first point. Shift down by 1 unit, you have negative 1 here. 1 shift down by 1, you have 0. 0 minus 1, you have negative 1. Negative 1 shift down 1 unit, you have negative 2. And 0 shift down 1 unit, you have minus 1. Now this blue color curve here represents y equal to sine x minus 1. Every point here is shift down by 1. Now y equal to sine x plus 2 and y equal to sine x minus 1 is two examples of vertical translation. If the number here is positive, you're going to move it up. And number here is negative, you're going to move it down. One important point here is the period for this three graph here is still 360 degree. That is, they make one complete cycle in 360 degree.